Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC, and welcome to Saturday Knife Live, the 101st edition of Saturday Knife Live, working on that second 100 now, right on, very, very cool. How is everybody doing tonight? The chat was lighting up, man. We got B Wax, One Minute Knife Review, Nice Fast, Grom, KJ, Eggs and Ham. Who else? Lisa, Chad, Orange Hats here. My goodness, Manny Z. Grom, did I say Grom? If I didn't, Grom's definitely here. He's here once or twice. Hey, JB, Mark is here. Ethan's here. My goodness, you guys were just. You guys were going crazy in there. That's almost 200. Well, I don't know about almost, but we're getting there. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Tim's here. Moose, good evening. Blade Ogre's here. Yes. 915 Knife, one of the winners in the 4K giveaway. Hello. Congratulations. Mark's here. Jack Archer. Hello. My goodness. Right on. It's time to party now. And I just want to quick real say, Jason, it is very, very good to see you again, my friend. I know you've had much bigger things to attend to the past couple of weeks, but it is very, very good to see you in the group tonight, my friend. I hope things are going as well as possible for you. Oh, my goodness. How do I say that? I'm just going to say, hey, Z or Zen. Zen. I'm going to say, hey, Zen. Mateo, what's up? Nathan's Knives, what's going on? Greg Wilson, hello. Glad to have you. Rusty, what's up? Rusty's here. Everybody's jumping in. We'll give folks time to jump in and say hello. It's great, great to have everybody here. Going to have another good show tonight. Got some cool stuff to talk about. I was hoping to have a surprise to show you, but I don't, so we'll have to hold out on that, but it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Sue Chicken, what's up? So, oh, I got you. <laughs> I see it now. Now that you say it, I see it. Right on. Well, good to have you, Mateo. Glad, glad you're here. The surprise was a lie. Well, yeah, it kind of was, actually. It, it turned out to be. Sorry. Hey, Shredder Knife Reviews, what is up? Hey, that reminds me. If you guys have not seen the Shredder Knife Reviews, you need to go check them out. It's a father and son review team, and it is absolutely awesome. You guys definitely need to check them out yes indeedy so much fun to watch and it's so awesome to see a father and son uh do that uh together you know uh, showing a respect for knives and teaching and it, it's just awesome absolutely awesome hey knife dude what is up Stuart's here hello good evening my friend so if you guys didn't catch it uh today's edition of channel chat uh was pretty much mostly the knife dude we had a uh, kyle j lamphere uh join us here for uh, it was probably about the last third or so maybe but very very cool thank you very much knife dude for for doing that i understand it was short notice but i greatly greatly appreciate it hello minette how are you i see you there michael hello grim with an i not with a y how you doing Peter's here. Hello. Factors of Jack is jumping in. Nice. Nice. Well, I tell you what, while people are still jumping in, oh, there's Zeb. There's Zeb. Oh, thank you very much, Zach. He just, Zach just threw up a link to Shredder, the Shredder Knife. You guys, you got to check him out. You really do. It's so much fun. I'm good, Manette. I am doing very, very good. Had a terrific, terrific day today. Thanks to some of the Fantastic people that are in the chat right now, and we will definitely talk about that here in a little bit. Don's here. Tim's here. Mad Hatter, what's up? YOLO. 
Very, very cool. So here is our coin for today. It is the USS Bofin from Pearl Harbor. Yep, this is back from when Nellie and I visited Pearl Harbor, oh, almost a year ago. And the Bofin is actually a World War II submarine. It is now a museum in Pearl Harbor, but very, very cool. And it'd be much cooler if it would uh, focus on it. But yes, indeedy, just an awesome, awesome museum. A little bit of history there. I love that. A bofin is actually a fish, but he's firing the torpedo through the out the bow there. Just awesome. I love that art. I love it. And then, of course, there you got the Pacific, Pearl Harbor, all the islands. Very, very cool. I highly recommend if you guys get the opportunity uh, to visit Oahu and stuff. You visit the Missouri. You visit the Bofin. Um the memorial, my goodness, the Arizona memorial, it's it's pretty incredible. So, well, we got some people jumping in here. Let's see what was everybody carrying today. Hello, Rennie. How are you? Bad monkey. How's it going? Let's hear what you guys were carrying. And then I'll show you what I was carrying. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. How's that? Oh, let's see. What do we have here? Boker cattle slip joint. Nice. Mini bug out. See Joby Gobi and a tinker. Very good. No, I did not see that, Mateo. I'll have to check that out. That sounds very interesting. Tank parts, huh? M4. Wow. Mini Osborne. Very nice. Blacked out shaman. Very good. Let's see. Alien Knives DX2. I, nice. Oh, Finch Holiday. Yeah. Say last, Stranger. How's it going? Oh, snowing. Yuck. Yuck. Please keep that there. I do not want snow. SE6. A Tucson pen. <laughs> oh, America Blade Works. There you go. Model 1 version 4. Nice. Green Classic 940. Nice, Rennie. Let's see. Quiet Carry. Man, I hate when it jumps like that. Because then I can never find where I left off. There we go. Waypoint 945. Manette had a Holiday Rough Rider. Very cool. Pair of three lightweight. Greg had the Cryo. Lisa had a Tucson Grandpa. There you go. CJB Rhea. Hollywood had the Carbine. Mini Super Freak and the TIE Fighter Combat. Purple Car Crew Wear Manix 2 for Jack. Kara Kara 2 Rescue Knife. That's Stewart's go-to. Manix 2 and M390 right on 915. Let's see, Tim had a Rhea with the scale. Oh, yeah, with the Micarta. Nice. Texel at work and a PM2 at home for Jason. Very nice. Hinder XM18. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Nice. I think I might have seen that. What's up, Topher? Otter Messer 3 Rivet. Very good. Pair of 3 from Shoe Monster. What's up, buddy? Milf 01, Sack 7, Sog Key Knife, and a Leatherman Super Tool 300. Man, you were packing. Nice. Civivi Elementum. S35VN. Naha. Naja. Uh, Rough Rider Denim My Carter Work Knife. Yes. Sog Flash AT. Very good. Off Grid Viper. Nice. UTX-85 and the Mini Trodon. Very good. Yes, I will agree, Will. How you doing? It is a, it is a, it's on a whole nother level. I will agree with that. Bad Monkey had the Wolverine EF-55 and an Oppenel number nine. Right on. Oh, CK's got his popcorn. He's ready to go. Right on. Artisan Centauri, pair of three lightweight for my buddy Knives Fast. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Sorry, guys, it jumps on me. And if I miss you, I do. I do apologize. Oh, let's see. Tucson Humpback. Nice, Chad. Moose had the proper. Spiderco PM2 for Ethan. I think I'm catching up. Hey, Con Conwago. Man, I, I probably say that wrong every time. Delico 4, nice. 
Custom mini grip. Nice, Will. Very cool. Uh, sous chef in your travel bag. Uh oh, hitting the road. 0562. Nice. Shot show exclusive mini freak, right? On eggs. Nice. Very cool. K20 had the K2 collector. Nice. Man, those Riots. I tell you what, some nice, nice knives. Very cool. Oh, you're get oh right on. Yeah, Ethan's 100 uh 100 subscriber giveaway ends tomorrow night. Right on, 8 p.m. Central. Very good. If you haven't gotten into that, make sure you get in. He's giving away some cool stuff, so make sure you jump on over to Ethan Ruins EDC and check out his giveaway and hopefully win some stuff. Yes, indeedy. Oh, Shammy got the Boker Desert Warrior. Nice, sweet. I caught up. Now I'm out of breath. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Let's see. I got a question. How are you so fast with your links over at Zach's Lives? I'm just that good, my friend. I'm just that good. That's all I can tell you, man. And Zach is just as good. <laughs> Zach is just as good, if not better. Hashtag Zach Attack. Yes, indeedy. Hey, Didier, what's up, buddy? Tell us, ooh, tell us what you were carrying real quick. And I'll show you what I was carrying. There you go. We got the hashtag Zach attacks that are that you need a magnifying glass to read. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm leaving them there just because. Hey Christine, no, you're not late. You're not late. Never ever ever late. Let's see. So what was I carrying today? I don't think he's in here. Ah, oh, still in the PJs. I understand. I understand. So, what was I carrying today? I was carrying this, courtesy of our good buddy, Tier 1 Gear and Reviews. This is the Lion Steel SR22. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Beautiful knife. Man, this is a sweet knife. And it's, you know, when I first got it, I actually thought it might be too small. For, not too small, but I thought it was going to be small. It is small. Okay, let me say this. I didn't think it was going to fit my hand really well. Well, I was wrong. I was wrong. It fits my hand perfectly. Yes, it does. Hey, Ordok, how you doing? Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, it does have a glass breaker on it. Oh, man. This thing feels so good in my hand. Hey, Goondocks, what's up? Oh, man. This, oh, it feels nice. Really, really nice in hand. Blacked out blade. And it's, the cool part about it is, check that out. It's an integral. Very cool. One chunk. We're talking lion steel right at the moment. Very, very, man. I, I was surprised how much I like this knife. It's kind of like the banter. It was kind of like the banter experience, to be perfectly honest with you. So I guess I got to be a little bit less judgy. I, I don't know. But yeah. I thought it was going to be a little bit too blocky, but it is not. It look, oh, it feels good. It feels so good in hand. Very nice frame lock. Oh, yeah. And it does look like you could potentially make it a righty or lefty, except for the frame lock, and then it'd be backwards. But it sure looks like you could turn it around. But with the frame lock, eh, that wouldn't work so well. So... Yeah, it's got a it's got an interesting flipper tab, that's for sure. You got a nice upturn on it, but you get some good get some good action out of it for sure. Ooh, it's snappy. Yeah, it's like right now, I mean the only lion steels I have are I have the thrill and I have the Otnat. Both of them are uh slip joints. So 
haven't really had the pleasure with a lot of the the lion steel, you know, like flippers, locking knives. And I tell you what, oh, got to get past the detent ball though. Oh yeah, break something? No, I'm not gonna break something. There's Orange Hat. He's back. Were you gone for a little while? I know you were there before. But yes, indeedy, guys. Uh, really, really nice carrying knife. And yeah, we're, we're going to have fun with this one. So Lion Steel SR22. Very cool. Very nice knife. See if anybody else... No, I'm not breaking anything. Yes, I do have a glass breaker. No, I'm not breaking anything. I don't really have any sacrificial glass, so. Oh, I had to deal with the dogs. I had a uh, 160-ish. 160-ish on that, I believe. Is that th just through a link up there? Uh, yeah, I believe it was 160 on that one. Well, I tell you what. I can look real quick, so I'm not... Bummed open, yeah. Yeah, 161 on that one. Kind of in that 160, 170 range, depending on which one you get. They got some orange ones. They got black ones, the red ones. Then they got some, the titanium ones, then you're going to step up. The gray and the bronze titanium, uh, you're pushing nearly three bills on those. So, I mean, price can definitely, definitely go up. So... Yes, indeedy. Yeah, yeah, they got an orange one. Orange, black, red. Uh, basically, gray titanium and copper. I'm liking it so far. I haven't had it very long. I just got them, like I said, from tier one. He was very nice, very generous to send those along. I got another knife here that he sent along that I haven't got to carry too much yet, but I know I'm going to have some fun with it. So... Yeah, I know I talked a little bit about podcasts earlier, and I wanted to mention something. If I don't know, I know they're a lot longer, and they're harder to watch, and I totally get that, and I'm, that's kind of what I'm doing with the channel chats is a little bit more of that kind of long-form content, but did you guys enjoy the one last week where I had Peter and Russell and Zach and Brad and Casey, and we all sat around and talked about the 2021 releases. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed doing it. Uh, sounded like everybody else enjoyed doing it. So I sure hope you guys did. Hey, Monster, what is up? So if you guys enjoyed that one, well, get ready because next week we got another one. We sat down again today and... We did some of the other releases that have come out. We did Wii, Civivi. We did, what did we talk about? Uh, Gerber. We did Spyderco. Uh, we covered all of those. And we did not have Russell join us. But, man, we classed up the joint a bit because we had the lovely, lovely Christine Women Carry Knives join us. So it was absolutely awesome. So I definitely love having her join us and getting the women's perspective on knives and stuff because you know what women carry knives they do so lots and lots of fun so stay tuned that one will be coming next saturday so i hope hope you all enjoy it so right on very good hey caleb what's up buddy oh all right well have a good night man Get some rest. Have a great Sunday. Hope you have a great week, brother. Glad you could stop by and say hi. Yes, it was it was a blast. I agree. It was it was very very lots of fun. Lots of fun. And I tell you what else was a lots of fun. JT, what's up? Whoa, here we go. I do not. I do not. That was a pass around knife, JT. That was a pass. He act. He asked about the Hecate uh, from Wee Knife. No, that was not mine. That was a pass around knife, and I do not have it anymore. So, um, did you guys catch Ray from EDCC? Did you guys catch <laughs> the the his podcast 
the other night. Um, it was funny. What was it? Thursday night. I didn't know it was going to be live until Wednesday night <laughs> when he did his, <laughs> when he did his, he did a quick live with the Kelly as he calls her. Uh, but oh my goodness. I am not trash. He said I was class. He said I was class. But that was fun. Oh my goodness, that was fun. And if you haven't seen it, what KC is referring to is he played, we played a game called Class or Trash. And he asks all sorts of crazy questions. And then he judges whether it's a classy answer, however you answer it, if it's classy or trashy. And it was a lot of fun, man. I hope I hope he continues to do that because it was a lot of fun. Hey, bad monkey. Oh, my goodness. Like, I mean, it was questions like, uh, oh, what was it? Oh, three liter sodas. Did you ever have a three liter I don't think I've ever seen a three liter bottle of soda in my life. I, have you guys ever seen a three liter soda? All right, let's see. There's the question there. What's your experience with burying direct contact with titanium scale? Having doubt on the 0562. Um, the, my honest answer is I haven't had a titanium handled knife with bearings long enough to answer that question. I don't hang on to full titanium knives with bearings like that. It's just not, yeah, I don't hang on to them. So... Three liter sodas at the dollar store, huh? God, I've never seen one. I've never seen one. Man, now I got to go on search of a three liter soda. That's something I need to see in my life now, I guess. A big red three liter. Oh my goodness. Big red soda. Oh, that stuff is so sweet. In the 70s. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I've, trust me, I've drank a lot of Big Red Soda. Oh, I grew up in Nebraska. That was just kind of a thing. You had to drink Big Red Soda. Go Big Red. Uh, rib of full tie, right on. Yeah, I, I, I just never seen one. Never seen one. Fago Soda? I hope that's not a trick question. No, I've never, I've never heard of it, Remy. Remy, never heard of it. I had a big red soda here about a year ago, man. It was just too sweet anymore. Just too sweet. <laughs> exactly, Stuart. <laughs> that, that would, how big a bottle of whiskey do you need, right? No, I have never, ever heard of that. I wish I could say I did, but I haven't. Oh, it's made in Detroit? No. No. Oh, now I'm sniffy. Doggone it. RC Cole and a Moon Pie. Oh, yeah, I've done that. Definitely done that. Definitely done it. All right, let's talk about another knife. What are we going to talk about? Oh, let's talk about this one. Let's talk about this one. Oh, we got something snappy. Listen to this. Oh, any guesses? Any guesses? Ooh. Hey, Quentin, what's going on? Yes, Quentin, there's going to be a giveaway. There's one at the end of every show. Thank you for asking. Not a slip joint. No. A small crocodile. Good one, Winchester. I like that. That's a good answer. No, it is not an OTF. It is not an OTF. It's got some snap, though. I'll tell you that. Hey, DNA, what's up? Nope. 
No, not not a bench made. Not a bench made. I think I just heard a coyote. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. Or, or a very howly dog. All right, I'll show you. It's this one right here. It is the ProTech TR2 Operator. All blacked out. Look at that. That is slick. You've got the little tritium, the little tritium mark on the on the button so you can see it in the dark. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ready? Ready? Ooh, snappy. Oh yeah. Oh, that thing's got some jump to it. Yes, indeedy. Yeah. Oh man, that snaps. All blacked out. Man, that is a that's a really <laughs> if I turn it like this, it almost disappears. <laughs> Gotta catch some of that light. Man, that is a sweet looking, sweet looking knife. And I forget the blade steel on it, dog on it. Oh no, I gotta look. Ah, got it. I can't remember the blade steel. Let's look. Because I want to... 154 CM. All right. Oh, got it. Couldn't remember. 154 CM. Yes, indeedy. Oh, man. Snappy little bugger. I am so digging this. Yes, it's just got a nice little thwack to it, man. Oh, oh, man. It's in its, it's, KC, it's got some pokey stabby to it. It's got a little pokey stabby, don't you think? A little pokey stabby going on? Uh, yeah, it does. Libertarian, is he here? I see, hey, Lib. Did Lib jump in? Handle length is... Handle length. One, two, three, four. Well, let's see. Let me give you a good grip length on it. One, two, three. Right about four inches. Right about four inches on the grip length. If you cheat up a little bit, you might be able to squeeze a little bit more out, but you're pretty much talking, pretty much talking four inches on the handle. Four and a half? Four and a half? Oh, man, I missed a half somewhere. Let me see. Oh, I've done it. Did I miss a half? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I kind of did. I mean, yeah, handle length is four and a half. Grip length is four inches. I'll give you four and a half on the handle, but grip is definitely four inches. So, yeah. I mean, again, mm, that feels good. It feels good in hand. Woo what? I was wrong with my guess about the sound. Think oh XM18. I did give that back. I gave that one back to Topher. So now blade length you're looking at. I know he put it up there, but it is right about cutting edge is definitely under three inches. So if you got a three inch cutting edge, you're okay. But if your autos are illegal, well there you go. So, but oh, yes, they're scary. They're scary, but they're fun. Oh, if it's a side deploy. Now, OTFs, it's just, mm, OTFs just really aren't my thing, but I do like this. Oh, I like that. Very, very nice. Again, another one from Tier 1. Huge shout out to Tier 1 for letting me check this one out. It is really Really nice. Full flat? Um, oh, no, high flat. High flat. You're, if we can catch the light, there you go. We can catch the light just right. You can kind of see, it's not full flat, it's high flat, I would go with. <laughs> I guess Jason doesn't like OTFs either. <laughs> I didn't see the Exotech. I had the 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 Ultratech. I had the Ultratech one, and 
Now, me saying that I don't like, um, <laughs> um, now me saying I don't like, um, OTFs, I would definitely have a bounty hunter just because, but I have to find a good deal on one. I'd probably want the UTX 85, honestly, because it's a little bit smaller. So... Like the AK-47? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Time for a drink. That got me classy points. That got me classy points with Ray because I, I drink Perrier. And it was funny. I said it, I said it helps my tummy and people were cracking up. They're like, oh, JB said tummy. Well, okay. It helps my tummy. What's, what's wrong with that? It helps my tummy. <laughs> trash all right kj's going in timeout no i'm kidding don't put k nobody put kj in timeout nobody put kj in timeout i was just kidding tummy water yes hashtag tummy water exactly yes <laughs> what's wrong with tummy water nothing nothing's wrong with tummy water otf and ots well, yeah, they are here too, but <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> that hasn't really stopped me. <laughs> They're not illegal to own. You can own them. They're just not legal to carry. My tummy time. <laughs> yeah, I need my tummy time. There you go. <laughs> Perrier. So that did get me some... <laughs> I did get that got me some classy points apparently. And I said if you he asked the original question was if you if I would come to your house, would would you give me bottled, filtered, or tap water? And we've I mean we've gotten in a bad habit. It's not a bad habit, I guess, but of drinking bottled water. Just because uh water here, I mean, it's okay. It's not the best. It doesn't have the best taste to it. So, I mean, it's fine. It's not bad water. It just, it doesn't taste the greatest. So, you know, no auto knives. <laughs> clearly Canadian. I've drank clearly Canadian. It's good. It's good. Hose water. There you go. Oh, dude, trust me. I've drank my fair share of hose water. I have, I did this summer. When you're out working in the yard, I'll drink water out of the hose if I'm thirsty. <laughs> laws. Who follows laws? What are those? Yeah. Yeah, if you come to my house, you, you'll just get refilled bottles of water. That's what you'll get. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. No. He did. He, I was, I was going to tell him about my mom's tap water. Oh, my goodness. Oh, when she had her, she had to have a new well drilled here. Oh, well, I mean, it's been probably 12, 14 years ago. Whoo, dude, that water had chunks. <laughs> that water had so much, had so many minerals in it. It had chunks. Wow. That was, that was a little different. I've never really wanted to chew water before, but mm, yeah. Whew. <laughs> right on, Mr. McKenzie. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was right at first. I mean, it cleared up after a while, but oh, man, right at first it was refilled with tequila. No, 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 no. JB doesn't do tequila. No. Nope. Oh, so I don't know if you guys remembered last week, since you all are here, I'll give you a little inside scoop to a review that's going to be coming up pretty soon. But if you guys remember that um, last week I showed the Kaiser bag lighter, the mini bag lighter that I got from uh, the Kaiser Friday Club. And... Kind of with all the, the excitement of SKL 100, 
I didn't happen to notice it because I unboxed it on uh, the, the channel and we talked about it and it just kind of blew over. But afterwards, I kind of got to thinking and then we got an email. But advertised as 154, uh, 154 CM. All the advertisements said 154 CM and everything. And I know you're you're not going to be able to see this because it's just not going to focus, I don't believe. But if it does, come on, can you? Will you? No, it won't. It's too small and there's too much in the way. The blade is actually marked as N690. So the blade is mismarked. Yes, it does say N690, but it's supposed to be 154 CM. So I don't know. Um, I guess the only way to, I mean, be 100% sure is, well, that's kind of the question. It's They said it was one, CP, or 154 CM. They... You know, made the correction. Yeah, is it 690 CM? Is it N154? I guess the only way to find out was to, would be to have it tested. Hey, Beefer, what's up, buddy? And yeah, so, so that's something that is definitely going to be pointed out in the review. I still love the knife. It's a fun little knife. It's nice and snappy. I mean, it's not a soup, it's not super droppy, but it's nice and snappy on those thumb studs. I, I still like the knife and like uh, I think Casey I saw his comment said there maybe it is a collector's I mean I think they released they released 100 in the US and 100 outside uh the US so I don't know you know I mean would it be a big deal if it was N690 over 154 uh to me not really cuz either way I mean I, the, the deal on the knife was fantastic. So, well, exactly, Tom. That's exactly what I'm saying. On the overall, does it really matter? Honestly, no, it doesn't. It's going to cut. It's got to, it, you can sharpen it. It's going to cut. You know, it's just, there's a little bit of an oops. You know, a little bit of an oops. Might be an earlier model. I don't know of them using... N690 on the big lighter, though. They were supposed to be 154 CM, from what I understand. So, I, you know, I don't know. You know, a little bit of a mistake, but I do like the knife. Either way, I like the knife. So. And, well, and that's the other thing. That's the other thing, Manette. Um, how do I... I mean, I guess for proving purposes... How bad do I really want to know? You know, is it worth sending it back and forth? And, you know, is it? I don't know. I guess so. Hey, Paul. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Beefer. I'm waving back at you. But, yeah, the micarta. The micarta is nice. The knife itself, I I'm digging it. I mean, it's nice and centered. The pocket clip doesn't act in the grip, man. It's really, really nice. So in the overall big scheme of things, N690 on the Vanguard, yeah, I mean, could be. Could be, you know, mix up at the factory. Could have been. Could have been. So, you know, I don't know. I'll decide. I'll think about it. I'll decide if it's really worth uh, sending it in to get it tested. I think Manette said she knows somebody that can do it. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll, it's a mini. It's, yeah, it's a mini, mini bag lighter. So definitely not full size. So let's give you, I'll give you a little bit of, oh, what do we got? Overall, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, six and three quarter ish uh, handle. You're looking at about three and three quarter three inch blade grip length definitely not large hand it's about three and a quarter 
on your grip link. So let's see. What's up, Hollywood? I got a new conversation question. Instead of what was your EDC today, how about what knife are you fidgeting with right now? There you go. That's not a bad question. That's not a bad question at all. Mine would be the mini bag glider. I just like to sit here, man. It just pops out. Hey, Shane, what's going on, man? How you doing? Glad to have you. Geotacticals was N690. Okay. Right on. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Peter. Everybody says 154. Everybody says 154. Factory goes, ah, N690. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Somebody didn't have their coffee or something, so... You know, in the big scheme of things, okay. You know. Oh, what's Mateo got? Manix 2 with brown. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, now everybody's telling what they're fidgeting with. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Right on. Oh. So, quick shout out to all of the brigade members in the chat tonight really 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 have to thank you guys for all the continued support um it's been absolutely fantastic and uh very very much appreciated appreciated over the last couple of months i do have to tell you so shout out to all you guys that are members right here thanks everybody for watching for sure that's oh but the really really appreciative of all my brigade members, without a doubt. So thank you all very much. And just so you know, the brigade members, um, I am going to be doing a knife sale. I'm putting together some knives to do a knife sale, and it will post to all brigade members uh, first. So keep that in mind, guys. And just remember that as a brigade member, you do get 20% off of any listed price of a knife sale. Hey, Lancelot, what's up, man? So just remember that. The knife sale, I don't know when. I don't know when. Um, hopefully, maybe next. Maybe in the next week. We'll just have to see. But definitely, definitely being a brigade member definitely gets you some... Uh, some perks like that so just remember it's coming you get to see them first and you get 20 percent off so there you go oh thank you very much peter thank you very much one second here oh my goodness i got sniffy i got sniffy so that one's coming up for you all Yes, always a shout out to Zach Stuff. He is always on the spot with those links. And I greatly, greatly appreciate the help. Big Red EDC Tacoma Cigarette Lighter. Huh. Tummy water and sniffy paper. Yeah, exactly. I guess so. <laughs> You don't knife fidget. Oh, Grom. How can you say that? Oh, thank you so much, Mateo. Thank you so much. Let's see. We got to throw some love up there. Oh, oh, Winchester. Oh, bro. Thank you, man. Welcome to the brigade. Hey, Winchester, do me a favor. I always forget to say this. Winchester, please email me, bigrededc at gmail.com, or hit me up on Instagram. But for becoming a a channel member, I have some, I have a swag bag that I owe you. So please do that. Please do that. So there was for Peter. Here's, here's for Winchester. There's some love for Winchester. And there is some love for Mateo. Oh, that's Winchester's. That's still Winchester's because you got to hit enter, dummy. <laughs> Oh, we gotta throw we got a couple throw a couple of the brigades in there for Winchester and then Mateo. Oh, Mateo! 
Thank you. Oh my goodness. Well, here you go. I was just getting ready to give you some donation love. So there's some there's some brigade love right there. Thank you very much, guys. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. And you too, Mateo. Please email me, bigreadydc at gmail.com. I owe you guys some swag bags for becoming members. Shoe Monster, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. You guys are fantastic. Greatly appreciate it, guys. Yes, it has definitely come in handy over the past couple of months, without question. So, oh, let's see. There, oh, thank you, Zach. There you go. BigRedEDC at gmail.com. Yeah, you can hit me up on Instagram, too. That's fine. That's fine. I know not everybody has Instagram, so I usually just throw out my email there first, but... Uh, both. Both, Hollywood. Oh, Shane, man. Thank you. Um, it'll post in the community page. That's where I post everything, guys, for the brigade members, for members only. And you should get a, you should get a notification, but it posts on the community page and that's where it'll post. And you guys get early access and 20% off. You get both. You get both. So thank you very much, Shane. There was some love for you. You guys are awesome. So. But yes, you get both. And then whatever. Oh, where's Rodney? Did I miss Rodney? Rodney's here. Where? Where's Rodney? Hey, Rodney. What's up? I missed you. I'm sorry. Hello, hello. Glad to have you, my friend. Glad to have you. Rodney, a member of the brigade as well. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, let's see. I have. What do I have? I got a couple more knives to look at. I kind of rushed through this one last week, and I felt bad. I felt bad for doing it because Zach was very, very gracious uh, to loan it to me, and I am enjoying carrying it very much. I'm still a little <laughs> on the pocket clip. I know we talked about that. Oh, 9, 915, thank you. Thank you so much. And I tell you what, 915, I will have your uh, knife out to you uh, Monday. Monday. All the prizes should go out Monday. I've talked to all the winners and the choices have been made. So, yes, yes. Very cool. Thank you. So, congratulations on your win. And have you decided which knife you wanted for sure? That's the other thing. Got You got to make a choice. Got to make your choice. I told you what my choice would be between the two. So that's up to you. But thank you very much for your donation. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But here you go. Zach loaned me the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. And I am, I am really, really liking the knife. I really am. I... I like the knife, but I always seems like I have to regrip when I, oh, Hollywood, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we we'll get Hollywood some love. There's some, there's some love for Hollywood. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. But uh, the clip, the clip, yeah, the clip. Ah, I don't know. I'm, mm. It's a little, it's kind, it's short. I don't have any issue with it riding in the pocket, though. In the pocket, it's just fine. Hey, Todd, what's up, buddy? You know, it, it rides fine. It's just kind of short and wide. You know, I mean, you can definitely notice it in the pocket. Oh, DNA, thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank you. Give you some love there. Thank you so much. Yes, of course, I love the color. I definitely love the color. Uh, nice, nice action. It's not a dropper. It's definitely not a dropper. But pretty good on the deployment. A little slow. A little slow. Not bad. Just a little. A little. But overall, I like the size. I like the weight. I like the overall shape. It's just every time I grab it, I do have to, I do have to just readjust a little bit. So 
I don't know. Now, I'm not sure, and if you all have any, this is my really my first experience with one. If you guys have spider monkeys or experience with it, what about the pocket clip? I wonder if you could swap out the pocket clip. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like it might be possible, but I don't know. <laughs> it's a shower, not a grower. <laughs> you did put a Benchmade clip on it. Okay. See, that's what I was wondering. Uh, that's what I was wondering. Because it sure does look like it might be possible. So, okay. All right. Switch the clip out with just a just a standard Benchmade clip. I'm sure I got one here. I got one or two. It does kind of look like a beer tab. Yeah, it does. It kind of looks like the old style beer tab. Yeah, most definitely. It certainly does. Now, Bad Monkey said he liked it better with the original. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to try it. I'm definitely going to try it. But, yeah, somebody said jimping. Yes, definitely got the jimping there right above the thumb studs, and it works great. Works fantastic. I love I like the jimping a lot. It's aggressive, but it's not over-aggressive. Really grabs your thumb. Uh, helps you lock in on that. Great access to the liner, by the way, as well. Terrific access to the liner. So, yeah. Yeah. Regular. Okay. All right. I'll give it a shot. We'll test her out. Faux show. But I had to show that. Like I said, I kind of showed it a little fast last week. And I felt bad because Zach was so gracious to loan it to me. So I greatly, greatly appreciate it, Zach. Thank you very much. Jimping is pimping. So. Oh, let's see. The Asanzo. Okay. The Asanzo. Gonna put a red lanyard on it. Okay, very cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds like he's going with the Asunzo. Very good. That we can do, sir. You will definitely, definitely get it. So we got one more. We got one more, and then we will be giving some stuff away. Jimpany. <laughs> A nice one, monster. I like that. Jimping ain't easy. No, it's not. So what do we have here? Let's play Guess That Knife. We did it before. How about this? This one's going to be a hard one. You're not going to guess. I'm reading comments. Sorry, guys. No, it's not a finch. It is the Civivi Appalachian Drifter. Very, very interesting knife. It is... Who said M-Tech? Chad said M-Tech. <laughs> no, it is the Appalachian Drifter. It is Civivi's double detent knife, but it's a double detent flipper. Yes, indeedy. Now, I really like the EWC. So, you know what? I'm digging this knife, guys. I am digging this one. Again, I know, Peter, we had this conversation. We had this conversation about small knives. Definitely a small knife. But it's really, really a nice little knife. I really like the kind of stone wash it's got going on. There we go. It's got a nice looking stone wash on that blade. 
reach around deployment. Um, what do we got for handle? Handle length, we're looking at just shy of four inches, about three and three quarter. Got a blade length of, there again, just shy of three inches. So we're just sub seven inches overall. But man, nice, nice little knife. Uh, clip point, nice fuller. I just like the way this thing feels really, really good. The micarta on it feels really, really nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Sweet little knife. Now, you larger-handed individuals, there you go. There's my three and three-quarter. Pretty much eats it up. So, yeah. Uh, Righty-only pocket clip. Recessed pocket screws, though. A double detent. Yep, double detent, Todd. It's a double detent knife. So, yeah, it, it, technically, it, it, it is kind of a slip joint. What is this? A flipper? So, very, very nice little knife. Double detent fake slip joint. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey. Oh, man. 83. Cool. We just broke the regular SKL record. I know we said we, we hit 113 last week, guys. That was the top number for last week was 113. I so appreciate you all coming out. I was really hoping to hit 100 on the 100th episode, and we pretty much blew past that. So thank you guys so very much for, oh, that was awesome. Last weekend's show was just, it, it was just so awesome. Just so awesome. I had so much fun. I hope those of you that were there had a good time, and it was just, you guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. So, uh, my surprise, my surprise was going to be uh, the SKL bug out. Um, I got a notification that it shipped yesterday. Um, this it was going to be delivered today by UPS, and then about seven o'clock, I got a notification that it won't be here till Monday. So, okay, whatever. But that was that was going to be the surprise. So I kind of, I spoke a little out of turn because I said, well, I think I said there might be a surprise. I didn't just say there was going to be. I think I said there might be. So mm, that's okay. So it should be here Monday. I will do, I will do a quick little video. Oh, Blade Ogre. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I know Last Ranger was in here. So... It didn't come today. <laughs> it, it, it won't come till Monday. So I, he gave me, he was gracious enough because it's his knife. It's not my knife. It's his knife. But he was gracious enough. I asked for if he would mind if I did a quick little video just kind of showing it off. And he said, definitely. Um, that was fine. So no biggie. We're going to do that. I'm not going to hang on to it to show it on next week's SKL because it's his knife and I want to get get it to him. He's he's waited this long. He's been so gracious and I want to get it to him as soon as as soon as I can. So, I I'm not going to hang on to it till next Saturday, but I will do a quick video and kind of show it off so you guys can see it for sure. So, and thanks again and congratulations again Last Ranger for being a terrific winner and a terrific sport. I greatly appreciate it. But what do you think, guys? Is it time to give some stuff away? I think it might be. I think it might be that time. I need, need some more nose tissues. I need my tissues. Oh, there's my tissues. Oh, my tissue. No, I'm gone. Yes, indeed, it's definitely swag time. Definitely swag time. Got a got an interesting knife for tonight too. I think it's interesting. Hopefully, you guys do too. 
So. Oh, what tissues? All right. Is this class or trash? Oh, I use tissue. <laughs> I get it now. I use tissues, so that's classy. Okay. Well, I have been known to a, have been known to do a farmer's blow every once in a while when I'm outside. So, you know, it happens. Sniffy paper, yeah. Sniffy paper. Sniffy paper and tummy water. All right. So, what are we gonna give away tonight? We are going. Yes, there's swag. You know there's going to be swag. You all know there's going to be swag. What do we got? Well, we got some Saturday Night Live, Big Red EDC. Of course, we got our good buddy Zach stuff in there. We got some OCD for EDC, uh, Key Bar, Flipping the Finch. Uh, I think there's a Blade Banker one in there. Some Do Something Kind for Someone, hashtag DSKFS. I have to say it slow because I'll screw it up otherwise. Oh, there's some, we got some, what else do we have here? Oh, we got some Smoky Mountain. Uh, there is some Southern Edge knife work in there as well. Oh, uh, we got some Buck, so lots of swag. Lots of swag. Might even have a Lefty EDC sticker in there. Might even have a Last Ranger sticker in there. Oh, Last Ranger. There we go. So what else do we got? We have, I think this is the last one. Yeah, I think this is the last one I have. But we have a damn design, damn design, little medicine jar, lettuce medicine jug, medicine bottle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's gold, lanyard bead, very cool. If you're not familiar, they kind of resemble this little guy. The little poison jug that I have sitting up here. Very cool. Rule number nine. Yes. Yes, rule number nine swag. That would be cool. What else? We have a very, very nice Hank from our good friend Carlos. Carlos EDC. B Hanks. Very, very nice Hank. It's kind of a purple kaleidoscope type pattern. And then on the inside, really, really nice, kind of gray. Very pretty, very, very well made uh, Hank there from our good buddy Carlos and B Hanks. So huge shout out to Carlos, by the way, for sending those out. Very, very, very. Yes, it's classy. It's classy. Yes, it is. That's a, That's one for the classy. So, we're going to be giving away a knife. We're definitely going to be giving away a Hank. Uh, well, yeah, we're definitely giving away a Hank because it's already out there. But we're definitely giving away a knife. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dory. Hey, Todd. How you guys doing? But let's see. Okay, let's play Guess That Sound again. Oh, of course we're giving away a knife, Mr. McKenzie. Of course. Okay, here's your knife. Ready? Listen. Oh, what's that? Ooh, hey, BZ, what's up? Any guesses? <laughs> I wouldn't do that, Jason. I would, here, I'll prove it. I'll prove it. See? Sniffy paper. I'll prove it. I didn't use the Hank. Sounds Chinese. Uh, no, no, it's not Chinese. <laughs> Victorinox. I already, I give you a clue. It's not Chinese. Nobody's, nobody's going to guess this one. I'm kind of I'm kind of being mean. No, it's not Russian. It's not Russian. <laughs> it's <de> Sabenza. <laughs> mm, mm, probably not. Probably not. All right, I I won't make you guess anymore. It is. 
The Black Fox. Fox Knives, Black Fox. You guys remember this one? Oh. Yes, indeedy. I'm liking it. Now, if you remember the Metropolis, it's, I like this knife. I like this knife. The detent is a little soft on it. I'll tell you that. The detent's a little soft. I mean, it flips just fine, but the detent is a little soft on it. So you do, you have to flip it. You have to flip it. I mean, if you don't flip it, well, there you go. I just tried. I mean, if you, okay, it's opening now. So never mind. I'll just be quiet. Yes. Yes. Black Fox is, they call it their outdoor. They kind of call it their outdoor and adventure line. But yes, it is their budget. It is the budget line of Fox knives for sure. So it's a nice knife. It's a good size knife. What do we got? I forget the overall. I think it's a little over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about eight and a quarter. So it's a good size knife. Handle length on it. We're talking, I mean, the full handle length. I mean, you're talking nearly five inches. Grip length, realistically, you're talking right about four. So now four, this one is 440 stainless on it. So, but it's a nice little knife. You kind of got that sunburst type pattern there going off from the lanyard hole. Not a bad knife. Not a bad knife at all. So, that will be what we're giving away tonight. So, now, I'll say this, I'll say this before we get started. You're going to be guessing at numbers. Don't guess. Please don't guess until you see the start on the screen from Zach. And please only one guess. One guess and wait till after the start. Just makes it easier on Zach. I know Zeb will probably help. Stuart might help. I understand that. But it just makes it easier to determine our winner, guys. So please, please just wait. Um, and I say this because... I don't know during the, the heat of anything. I may have said something that kind of hurt somebody's feelings a couple of weeks ago. And I, I certainly didn't mean to do that. I felt bad. I mean, you can ask Zach. I, I told Zach and I talked about it and I felt bad. And just if you wait till after the start and only make one guess, it's a lot easier for the guys that are really, really trying to help out. So I just I just ask that and greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I certainly, certainly do not, I don't want anybody to not feel welcome on SKL. You guys know me. This is this is supposed to be fun. And I hope, I hope it is for everyone. So just just want to throw that out there. So let's see. I'm showing 86 right now. So let's do. Yeah, Greg. Yeah, I'll I will say it. I'll I'll say it for sure. So, um, I got eighty five people. So let's do, let's do, let's do three hundred to five hundred. That's gonna be our our three hundred to five hundred is gonna be our spread. And let's see. One guess, one guess only. I am going to go with, I got my number written down. So once, I'll get it stuck under the table here. So we have our number, one guess between 300 and 500. 
Uh, Zach, when you're whenever you're ready, go ahead and throw up the start on the screen, and these lovely people can start their guessing whenever you throw the start up. So, and I'll tell Greg when it gets up. There you go, Greg. Feel free to make your guess, my friend. We have a start on the screen. So, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the new members that joined the brigade tonight. I thank you so very much. It's absolutely awesome. You guys are absolutely wonderful. The donations, just fantastic. It super, super helps out. You guys just don't know how much it helps out. Wow, it is hiding a lot of them tonight, isn't it, guys? Man, that's just really weird. That's just really weird how, I don't know why it hides them. So, let's see here. Do we have, do we have, all right, I see something there. Hey, CK, let me see what's going on here. Let me see what's going on here. I, I got to look at something. Let's see. Oh, can we, Conwago, man, I hope I say that right. Yeah, okay, good. Good, let's not... Thank you, Zach. Um, oh, I got a Conwago. I owe you some love, my friend. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to uh, trying to figure something out here. All right. Um, there you go, brother. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the brigade. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So there we go. All right. So. So did CK get his guess in? That's what I'm concerned about. I want to make sure CK gets his guess up there. I'm not seeing one. Make sure you get your guess in, CK. I, I haven't seen it yet. If you have, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, please guess again, CK. Thank you, Zach. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. We got you. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. You're in there. All right. Well, I think we got all the guesses in. So, Zach, if you want to go ahead and throw up a throw up a stop, and we will go ahead and check it out. So, let's see. I guess I can, too. My arms aren't broken. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Hey, no problem, Greg. No problem at all. And you know what? Unfortunately, that was kind of a similar situation that I was referring to. And I felt bad. I felt horrible. I'll tell you. Oh, stop, Hank. Somebody asked. It's buried. Oh, it's buried at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's buried. I would throw it out there, but I, I don't want to dump stuff on the floor right now. So our number for tonight was 413. 413. Closest without going over is always the rule. I know I didn't probably mention that. Zach may have for me, but that is always the rule. Closest without going over to 413. So now I got to go back and see. And I will definitely ask. Oh, there's one just over. Knife dude. Four one three. There's a four oh five. Oh, there's a four eleven. I see a four eleven. I see two four elevens. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Are you guys seeing two four elevens? Because that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. Peter and Lisa. That is what I'm seeing as well. All right. Well, you know what that means, guys. Round two, fight. All right. All right. So this one will be 
for Peter and for Lisa. Very good. Very good. So, all right, you are going to guess a number between, I can't make it that easy, 55 and 65. One number between 55 and 65. Don't guess yet. I don't have it written down yet. <laughs> I got to figure it out. So this one will be the closest, whoever is closest. So I do have it written down now. So Peter, Lisa, feel free to make your guess. And whenever you're ready, there's no start or anything here. Just please feel free to make your guess whenever you have it. So Peter says 59. Very good. Very good guess, Peter. Very good. And Lisa says 61. Also a terrific guess. Very good. Both, both wonderful, wonderful guesses by our two competitors. The winning number is 63. 63. So Lisa is our winner this evening. So congratulations to Lisa for winning tonight. Hey, DCS, what's up, buddy? So very good. Very good. So uh, Lisa, I think, just you know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do, Lisa. It's always easier if you just shoot me a message. Um, email BigRedEDC at gmail.com or Instagram. I'll go back and look on Instagram, too, and see if I have it. So, but yes, congratulations to Lisa. She is our big winner this evening. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, thank you guys so very much for another absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Oh, thank you, DCS. Thank you so much. That was so fun. It was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me on this 101st episode of SKL. I greatly, greatly appreciate all you being here. I greatly appreciate the donations, the member, the guys, everybody that joined the uh, brigade this evening, Winchester, Mateo, uh, Blade Ogre. You guys are absolutely awesome. I think somebody else did, and I can't forget. Oh, before I forget, all of you that did join, Shane, Shane, yes, Shane was there. Um, all of you that did join the brigade this evening, email me, bigreddc at gmail.com, or hit me up on Instagram, at bigreddc, because I owe you a swag bag for becoming a member of of the brigade. So please, please do that for me. So yes, I saw the question, is Zach going live tomorrow? That is definitely one thing we always have to find out at the end of the show. So we don't forget. So thank you guys so very much. Mark, Bad Monkey, Greg, Grim, Tom. Oh, KJ, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Give KJ some love. KJ some love. Sunday noon live. There you go, guys. Sunday noon live for Zach's. Noon Pacific time. I will be there as always. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Well, they probably could and they might, but I will be there and we'll, I will see you guys tomorrow. But thank you guys so much. Thank you, KJ. You guys have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful Sunday. For those of you that I see tomorrow, I'm looking forward to it as always. You have an absolutely fantastic week. And I will see you right back here next Saturday for an early, early, it's the first Saturday of the month, guys, early SKL, 2 p.m. Pacific time or 5 Eastern, or like the middle of the night for all my UK friends. So I'm so very sorry. <laughs> but thank you guys so, so very much. Oh, thank you, Zach. There's some love for Zach. Definitely got to give Zach some love. Thank you, Zach, for uh, running the boards again tonight and helping me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. 
All right, guys, you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful week. And I will see you right here next week for another early edition of SKL. Good night, guys. Have a good week.